So before I get on with the meat of this video, obviously the news that I'm about to present to you guys is late and y'all should be aware of them, but you know, I still got to present them to you guys anyway, just to give you guys my thoughts about everything and tips and tricks, tips that, that, say, oh my gosh, tips and tricks about what is presented. Now, the reason why the news is late is because things within the group has been in turmoil, so to speak. Ever since the layoffs and, you know, because the group have been hit not by the content creators, but by the community managers. So things are kind of in the flux at the moment, especially when it comes to us receiving the news. So we can present it to you guys at the same time Pokemon Go's official Twitter dropped the news as well. That won't be the case for a while. I'm letting y'all know right now. And this is for everybody, not just for myself. This is for the likes of Trainer Tips, Mystic 7, Zoe 2 Dots. Cricket 23, Lando Alpha, JT Gilly. This is for everybody. So, you know, if y'all followers of those content creators or followers of the work, whatever the case may be, you know, you've been warned that in terms of them dropping the news, it won't be right away. It won't be the same time as the official Pokemon Go Twitter dropped the news. It won't be the same time as PokemonGoLive.com dropping the news. When you guys hear it from them, that's when we're here too for the next week or so. And hopefully... Things can be more organized so we can present the news to you pretty much at the same time as their official social media accounts. So with all that said, let's get on with the me in this video. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. It's your boy True in front of today's day is Tuesday, July the 11th. And believe it or not, I am less than, no, take that back. I am two weeks from this Saturday. Before I go back to Japan, I cannot rate. That is going to be the biggest trip of the year for me personally. I cannot rate for that trip to go down. It's going to happen two weeks from this Saturday. I cannot rate. I cannot rate. So, let's get on with the news. So, you all should know what's coming up and all that jazz. But, I'm going to give it to you guys anyway. And expect videos from me probably every day. Matter of fact, today, as I'm recording this video, I did drop a video announcing my new merch, my new collection my new catalog the zip ray collection so yeah check out the link in the description box below and make sure to pick that up the code i forgot to literally verbally say that in my last video but the code is zip ray you get 50 percent off the entire collection there may be some restrictions but you have them until ironically enough i go to japan to use that code to get 15 percent off so there you go with that now let's get on with the news check this out trainers so the rumors were true. It's going to be Poly Swag that will be the feature Pokemon for July's official community day. We just had a community day classic. Now we're getting the actual community day. It will be on Sunday, July 30th from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. local time. Speaking of Japan, I will be in the air going to Japan. And when I land in Japan, it's going to be like 9 o'clock p.m. Japan time. So I'm going to miss this. But let's move on. So the feature Pokemon will be Polish Rag, whose Pokemon is already in the game, which I'm not bent out of shape about this, because I got a bunch of these shinies already. So I'm not really bent out of shape about that. Although I might be bent out of shape a little bit with the moves. So I'll explain that right now. So if you evolve Polish Rag all the way up to Polish Roll, and then ultimately up to Poly Rap, it will know the move, the fast attack move at a counter. So you have doing the event oh, up to five hours after the event, which is cool for me, because once I land, in Japan, I'm going to see if there may be, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. But I will be able to evolve some poly swirls all the way up to poly wrap to get the move counter. So counter will do eight power and trainer battles, that's PvP, and trail power and gems and in raids as well. Although poly wrap isn't exactly useful in raids, it's really in PvP where it's going to be highly useful. It's already highly useful, counter will make it even more useful. So let's move on. Now. Polito, which is the other evolution that involves King's Rock. So if you evolve Polyswirl all the way up to Polytoad, it will know the charge attack move, Ice Beam. So it will do 90 power in PvP gems in the range. Polytoad in PvP prior to this, not exactly useful. We'll see what's up once this actually happens. So we'll see what's up with that. Moving on. There's going to be a community day special research story called Slippery Swirls that will cost one US dollar or the equivalent pricing tier in your local currency, wherever that case may be. So that is the community day special research story for this event. And you can also get this story to your friends as long as you're great friends or higher. And tickets for this 
are non-refundable. So there you go with that. And more likely, there's going to be taxes involved as well. Now let's take a look at the event bonuses. One form egg hatch distance where eggs are placed in the incubator during the event. You'll get double the candy for catching Pokemon, double the chance for trainers level 31 and up to receive candy XL for catching Pokemon. Lower modules and regular instance will last for three hours during the event. You know, five snapshots for a shot at a shiny poly Swag. And then you get one additional special trade for a grand total of three for the day. And trades will require 50% less stardust. So there you go with that. Now, the trading part will last until 10 p.m. local time. So, well, I'm going to be in the airport during that time. So, I won't have, more than likely, I won't have anybody to trade with. So, we're going to ignore that for the time being. Now, this is the part that I'm interested in. The bonus raid battle at the community today. So, this will be going on from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. local time. So, hopefully, there's gyms at the airport. And people are doing the raids there. And more polish rags can show up. So I have a more opportunity to get shiny. So basically what's going on is this. After the three-hour community day event ends, trainers will be able to, to take on special four-star raid battles, claiming victory in one of these raids, which will cause more poly swag to appear around the gym that hosted the raid for 30 minutes. So it's going to be poly swirl. And notice how I call it swag and swirl. I do that on purpose. That's their nickname. So... Here's the deal. Obviously, you cannot use a remote raid pad. You literally have to be at the gym to take part in these raids. And then once you successfully complete a four-star raid battle against Polyswirl, more Polyswag will appear around the gym for 30 minutes. And if you're lucky, you may encounter a Polyswag. Polyswag that appear under these circumstances will have the same chance of appearing as a shiny as those that appear during the community day three-hour event period. So there's that. There's going to be a time research where you will get King's Rock that will be available from 2 p.m. all the way up to 10 p.m. local time. So there's that. There's going to be field research where it will probably be catching Poly Swag to earn rewards such as encounters with more Poly Swag, King's Rock, Ultra Balls, and more. There's going to be stickers involved. And they talk about, you know, joining up with other trainers and all that jazz. And of course, I have to say it. Please be ready. Your surroundings, blah, 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 sign the Pokemon Go team. So that's the community day event right there so again i would be in the air doing this event and the issue here is it's going to be interesting to see there should be gyms at the airport and hopefully people are doing the raids at the gym to make more poly swag appear so i have to go through immigration i'm letting you know right now i have to go through immigration and we'll see what's up we'll see what's up i i don't know how immigration will work i may be out at 10 p.m i don't know so we'll see what's up but nevertheless, it's gonna be interesting. I may have a shot against some shiny poly swags in Japan at the airport within that hour or so. And then I can involve them up very quickly, possibly do the event, or where well, I'm not sure about doing the uh, the special research. We'll see what's up with that. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be very, very interesting to see how that works. But we got one more bit of news to talk about. So check this out. So here we go, catching some Z's. So this event will start this Saturday July 15th from 10 a.m. to Sunday, July 16th at 8 p.m. local time. Kamala, the drowsy Pokemon, will be making its Pokemon Go debut, which is cool. And then, of course, you got Snorlax wearing a nightcap. And yes, that can be shiny, but there's a catch. And we'll get to that in a second. So check this out. Using, well, two catches, actually. And this is where the first one comes to play. Using your Pokemon Go Plus Plus, which comes out this Friday, actually, We'll let you play Pokemon Go without staring at your phone, which will be very useful for me in Japan. Using the auto throw function, you'll be able to automatically throw Pokeballs at Raw Pokemon while the auto spin function that automatically spins Pokestops, which is what I really want right there. You can also adjust the settings to switch between throwing Great Balls or Ultra Balls, which is really cool. After you pair the Pokemon Go Plus with Pokemon Go, you'll be able to take on special research that leads to an encounter with Snorlax wearing a nightcap. The Snorlax looks like it's sleepy or it sleeps so soundly. We hope catching it makes you makes your naps even nicer. Okay. You can also use Pokemon Go Plus Plus to easily track your sleep with Pokemon Sleep, which is the new app coming out. Just press the center button and place it by your pillow. Connecting your Pokemon Go Plus Plus to Pokemon Go will allow you to enjoy some new features based on your sleep data. So that's interesting. And then of course, they got a, a website right there, more info on that. Now, let's take a look at the route encounters. We're looking at Jigglypuff, Abra, Drowsy, a regular Snorlax, Marie, Teddy Ursula, 
and slack off. All those can be shiny. And then Ruler, which cannot be shiny, but it's still useful for PvP, nevertheless. Along with Jigglypuff as well. Abra and Mimi Sudden Is it Abra or Drowsy? I think it's Abra. Yes. Ab no. Drowsy. Drowsy would be useful. Snorlax is useful as well. Slack off is useful as well. And then some trainers might encounter the following. Mana, which can be shiny. And of course, Kamala, the new joint. Now let's take a look at the raids. One star raids, you'll get Abra, Kalarian Slowpoke, and Drowsy. And all three of those can be shiny. Three star raids, the Snorlax, regular Snorlax that is, will be the only one in the three star raids that can be shiny. And then alongside with that, you got Gloom, Dale Caddy, and Sraldon, Sraloon. Those three cannot be shiny. And then the five star raids, you got Reggie Lecky. And then the Mega is Mega Blaziken, which can be shiny, by the way. There's going to be new avatar items and stickers, which involve the Snorlax pattern nightcap. And then you got a Snorlax onesie for your avatar. You got stickers and things of that nature. So if, well, you probably wonder, well, what's the other catch? Let, well, let's go back up. Notice the Snorlax in the raid, the Snorlax in the row, they will not be wearing the nightcap. You can only get the nightcap from doing the special research. So it's similar to that pony tar that we did, the elegant that we did, and the Lapras that we did a few months back, where you only have one shot of those, and they could be shiny, and that's it. You only get one shot. It's the same here. So first of all, you need to go Pokemon Go Plus Plus to get the special research, complete it, and then you have to do your check where it might or might not be shiny. So there you go with that. And I gotta say this, because it was at the bottom. Please be ready to find this blah, 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 sign the Pokemon Go team. So, there you have it. That's the Catch Some Sneeze event. Obviously, we got a new Pokemon, Kamala. Obviously, the PvP folks will be interested in the Rulu, which is going to be very useful. And then, of course, you got the one shot as getting a shiny Snorlax random nightcap. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. And more likely, you won't get it. So, I'm just letting y'all know right now. So, this event is, for the most part, is bland. I'll be honest, it, it's bland as best. Like, the only one saving grace is the mother, the shiny mother. If you don't have a shiny mother, then yeah, this is the event for you. So, there you have it with that. I'm going to call it a wrap before I sneeze. So, with all that said, y'all know who this is. This is my new Jack Aspie, aka the new, new Stephen A. Smith. Say peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. If y'all reached this portion of the video, leave in the comment section below Snorlax. Snorlax. Leave that in the comment section below. See y'all next time. <laughs> Thanks, man. Right. After you subscribe to the channel, make sure you click the bell icon so you never miss a new video or a live stream ever again. Thanks, guys. Lewis the trainer, articulating paint with my tongue. I done things that people said I can't. Now they rank them with the elite, but it's for the people, and victory is part of defeat. Cause when you get back on your feet, then you try again. Learn from mistakes, show them that I got what it takes, and I'm dying to win. Okay. I'm a hit and move away.